What's going on, soccer fans? Welcome to San Diego Soccer Television. This is the show that covers all soccer in San Diego, from youth soccer to high school, college and pro teams in beautiful San Diego, because soccer matters. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Temris Lane, along with my in-studio guest today, my friend, Mr. Warren Barton of Fox Soccer Channel and head coach of San Diego Flash. On today's show, we'll be giving you a recap of this past weekend's soccer action, an interview with the Director of Coaching at Knott's Forest Football Club, Mr. David Banks, his team of the week, a preview of soccer action in San Diego, and what's coming up on the weekend. First, let's talk a little collegiate soccer, the San Diego State Aztecs. Our good friend, <laughs> Mr. Eric Winalda, and San Diego Flash partner is an Aztec alum. The number 20 San Diego State men's soccer team picked up its 10th victory of the season with a 3-0 win over Oregon State Friday. The Aztecs, who are now 10-3-2 overall, have back-to-back -back 10 win seasons for the first time since 91-92. Pretty impressive. It's, it's very impressive, I think, when you talk about San Diego State. Um, they have a great program there. Uh, and yes, Eric Winada was there. Uh, he's gone on to have a great career, as he keeps telling us every single day, and with a <laughs> major league soccer, also playing in Germany, uh, U.S. men's national team as well. And it doesn't stop there. You know, we're lucky enough now with the San Diego Flash, with Eric being a, a partner. Uh, the players are coming through from San Diego State. We've got a couple now on the roster uh, with the Flash, and uh, a lot of credit should go to their coach. He's been in 11 seasons, and I think Thomas as well. It's not necessarily the players that he's churning out. It's the quality of players as well that are coming through. 11 years is an impressive time for any coach. Uh, for those of you that don't know, here's an interesting bit of information that you can all benefit from. This year, the athletic department announced that all home games at the sports deck at San Diego State are free. So don't miss it if you want to see some good college action. Now's your chance to go see one of the top colleges in the country for free. Now let's take a look at other soccer action from around San Diego of recent weekend scores of high school and college. Next up, we'd like to welcome in David Banks, who is the Director of Coaching for Knott's Forest Football Club in Claremont Mesa, and his team of the week. You know David. Yeah, I do. Uh, he's been a great guy, and he's helped us immensely with the, the San Diego Flash, his philosophy that he has with the club, the kids, uh, and also his ideas going forward. I think he's been a great asset to the, the club where he is, and particularly the area. Claremont have, uh, have really benefited from David being around. And I know I have with the San Diego Flash. You know, He's got great ideas. He's got a great mannerism with the players. Good philosophy, as I said, and uh, an, an excellent coach. Let's go out to Hickman Field to talk to David Banks now, who's standing by. He's there with his team of the week. Welcome, David. I see you have some good-looking soccer players with you. Who's with you today? Hey, Thomas, how are you doing? Uh, well, we're over here at uh, the Hickman Fields, the complex, and behind me, this is the boys under 11s, uh, AA A team. Uh, they are currently in first place. Uh, two more victories, and I believe they'll be in Premier next year. So they're an uh, up-and-coming team, um, great bunch of boys, uh, very dedicated and committed to the game. We hear you're running a very successful program at Knott's Forest Football Club. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, it's a, it's not a, a relatively new club. It's, uh, it's under the banner of Mesa Soccer, uh, which has been around since the 1970s. Uh, the club uh, has been uh, um, competitively around since uh, 75. Um, there have also been four or five uh, different names within the club competitively wise. Uh, I came on board in 2000, uh, took over the program. And uh, 2004, uh, we renamed the club Nottingham Forest, uh, which is very, very dear to my heart, uh, as I'm a big fan of Knott's Forest. Uh, we named the club Knott's Forest. We have 20 teams, uh, competitively from boys under 8s through to girls and boys under 19s. And it's, uh, it's been quite successful. Um, we have a good structure in place. 
Uh, we have a, an awesome curriculum where all the coaches follow. Uh, we definitely believe in a, in a passing game. Our little motif is learn to play the forest way. Um, and it's, uh, it shows on the field uh, for, for most of the time anyway. So it's, it's enjoyable. I love doing it. Uh, make some great people on the way. Parents are fantastic. We have some awesome volunteers within the club and that's what makes this club very special. Thanks, David. Now we have with us our player of the week, Kimo Ferrari. Kimo, tell us how you like playing for Knott's Forest. Hi. Playing for Knott's Forest Football Club is really fun. You get all these great coaches and the kids are really good here. And Kimo, what do you love most about playing soccer? Soccer is a team sport. There's no I in team and you always win and lose together. Hi Kimo, this is Warren. Uh, how did you start in soccer? I started playing soccer when I was only four years old at Mesa Rec and it led me here to Knott's Forest by being picked by an all-star team and then the coach called me back and asked if I wanted to do a tournament with him and I just started by doing that tournament by tournament. By tournament. Then it led to the season and now I'm here. I never had played midfield, but what's it like playing in centre midfield? Playing centre mid is really fun. You get to run a lot, always on the ball, near the ball, and you just get a lot of playing time in there. Hmm. Yeah, you've got to be pretty crafty to, to be a centre midfielder and have a good field of vision. Um, but most importantly, you've got to get to practice. So who's bringing you there, Kimo? My dad brings me to practice, and my brother, old younger brother is the team two years younger than me and we always had to pick him up before we come here all right Kimo this is a this is the winning question who is your favorite player in the world can he say me <laughs> <laughs> my favorite player in the English Premier League is Theo Walcott because he plays for Arsenal and he's very fast like me Wow, you got to love it, Warren, all these kids getting passionate about the game that we've loved so much. Kimo, thank you so much for telling us about your soccer life. Now it looks like we have some of your teammates standing by. Boys? Three. Hi, Demris! All right, so I'm going to ask the rest of you boys out there. I asked Kimo already, who is your favorite player in the world? Lionel Messi. Leonardo Messi. Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Yair Jogba, Quinn Dempsey, Lionel Messi, Javi Hernandez, Landon Donovan, David Beckham, Ronaldinho, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, those are some pretty good players, don't you think, Warren? Uh, but now, most importantly, who is the best <laughs> soccer coach in the world? David Banks! <laughs> well, there you have it. Huge thanks to David Banks and Knott's Forest Football Club for joining us on SD Soccer TV. For anyone looking for a great soccer club, consider joining Knott's Forest Football Club in Claremont Mesa. You can find out more and a link to their site on our website, sdsoccertv.com. Next up on the program, we have Nancy Castro out and about in San Diego, ready to tell us about the upcoming season of the San Diego Soccer's indoor pro team. Nancy, what do you have for us? Hey Tamers, a lot of local soccer fans are very familiar with the San Diego Soccer's name. It's been around since the 70s. The newest version of the San Diego Soccer team is carrying out their winning tradition. The San Diego Soccer's have won the Professional Arena Soccer League Championship two years in a row with their forward, Craig Childs, who delivered an awesome season with 38 goals and 12 assists. He was also named Most Valuable Player of the League. Now the Soccers are getting ready to start off their next championship year. The new season kicks off November 12th with an away game against the Anaheim Bolts and the home opener will be right here at the Del Mar Arena right by the San Diego County Fairgrounds on Saturday, November the 19th at 7 p.m. Thanks, Nancy. Two-time champions right here in San Diego, Warren. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, very impressive. I've been to a couple of their games last season and the reason they're doing so well is they're very competitive, they're strong, 
great atmosphere as well. Great little arena that they have at Del Mar. Um, get a good crowd. Um, I know my kids have gone down there to watch them. And Matt Long continue because uh, indoor soccer is totally different to what we have at the Flash, so it's good. It's a pretty awesome environment, as I understand it, those indoor uh, football matches. So definitely go check it out. If you would like ticket information, you can find a link to their website at sdsoccertv.com. Next up on SD Soccer TV, do you want to know what's happening with local soccer this weekend? We have all the info for you here. Here at SD Soccer TV, we are so proud to be part of the San Diego soccer community. And with us today, we have one of our community leaders, Ilka De Leon, who is the founder of the Atlapa Foundation. Can you tell me a little bit about your foundation? Thank you for having us, Tamaris. The Atlapa Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit. And essentially, our objective is to make sure that we can improve the opportunities for college admission for student athletes. So that's our target demographic, is student athletes in San Diego. And uh, we do that by making sure that we can provide them with that gap service between what parents are offering, coaches are offering, and what their instructors are offering. And so we come in and we're complementary to that process. And it really is a, a job being a student athlete myself. Um, it has been something that you have to continue to work on. So Absolutely. it's amazing that you're providing those skills. And how are you currently implementing your program? So what we do is it's a pretty simple format. Uh, we partner up, of course, as I mentioned, with those three big entities in a student's life, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have to make sure that we balance the time. So we find a slot for one hour a week that fits with the student's schedule and doesn't, of course, tax them even more so, because, uh, of course, being an athlete as well, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot to balance. But we make sure it's a one hour a week and we part the, partner them up with an enrichment instructor that comes to whatever location is uh, supportive and comfortable for the family and the student. It could be your home, it could be the library, it could be the coffee shop down the street. And um, we do it once a week, every week. We mirror the school year and essentially we develop a long-term relationship between the two that allows us to uh, drive home our concepts. Uh, so you have a, a base of instructors now. Are these instructors generally former student athletes? Uh, how do you choose your instructors? Absolutely, 100%. It's really important that people understand the rigors of being a student and being an athlete. And especially when we've got athletes, of course, mm -hmm. that are very hard on themselves. They, you know, they strive for the best. We want to make sure that we've got someone paired up with them that has also gone through that. So mm -hmm. our enrichment instructors are all California credentialed and actively credentialed teachers. And they also are, of course, athletes. They, it's a requirement that they have gone through uh, some sort of athletics throughout all of their college career, um, hopefully as well including high school, and subsequently as a, a working functioning adult in society, we want to make sure that they continue that athleticism so that it's part of their lives and they have an opportunity to understand students a lot more from that perspective. So go through this again for me. Tell me what the prime objectives of the Atlapa Foundation are. Our main goal is getting students into college and what we want to do is improve their opportunities. So our enrichment program allows us to, as I mentioned before, just fill those gaps where parents, teachers and coaches are doing the best they can but they can't reach those nooks and crannies mm -hmm. and that's what we come in to do. By doing that once a week we essentially develop some really good habits in our students that allow them to improve their candidacy for college admission and our goal is to get them there and keep them there so that the skills that they learn in time management, mm -hmm. which we all had to struggle with, mm -hmm. of course, getting <laughs> in, um, and uh, just balancing the workload just works out. You know, I know that being a student athlete truly is a full-time job, mm -hmm. so it's amazing that you're offering these skills and this instruction for future, uh, I guess, community leaders. Thank you. Essentially. Thank you so much for coming, and stick around for more SD Soccer TV. Thank you for having us. Thank you for joining us on SD Soccer TV. A big thanks to my guest, Mr. Warren Barton. I'm Tamara Lane. Make sure you tune in next week for all things soccer San Diego, because soccer matters.